halcyon days of hair. <laughs> well, it's been really interesting doing Amplified last time because I'm considered, or was considered, I think, to be the biggest kind of hybrid of a Luddite and a dinosaur in the library service in yeah. terms of... <laughs> <laughs> and my presence on Amplified Lesson is still getting everybody chortling and <laughs> taking the mickey out of me. And uh, I've been quite enjoying that because I've been gradually exacting my revenge. <laughs> so uh, when they've been saying something, I've been saying, oh, you should boo or flop that, you know. And then, what? You know, so... Um, but to get there, it's been interesting. Like Sue said, I'm the developing communities librarian for Leicester Libraries. Uh, so I, like Bill, I have to do quite a lot of work engaging with communities. And part of that uh, was to get involved with volunteers for the library service. And that led to the auspicious meeting with Mr John Costa of Citizens Eye, who's got to be one of the most amplified individuals, certainly in Leicester, if not the whole country, or possibly the world. Um, and that was a really interesting meeting, because I started to see the potential for social media through the community media work that he was doing. And that inspired me to a degree, but I was still very resistant to actually using it myself. It was through seeing the work that they were doing that I thought, I've really got to change this because I've started to see the potential professionally. And I'm one of those people who can only really engage with something if I can see the point of it and the use of it. So I really start to see the potential there. Um, since then, I've engaged with lots of things. I, because I'm, I'm actually seconded from the library service to the board of Citizens Eye, I have to get involved and develop those skills. So with the help of John, and certainly with the, you know, the practical elements of Amplified Leicester, uh, learning to use the equipment and the different media has really helped me to sort of develop uh, a new style of working, actually, which was indicated yesterday, really, because I had to present a conference at, uh, in Bristol to Library Southwest. And I thought about it last week. And I think I really wanted to do it in a different way, a totally different way. Normally, I'd just be standing behind a podium talking from paper, and it was fairly, you know, staid and boring. So I thought I'm going to do it all with the stuff I've learnt on Amplified Leicester and through the work I've done with Citizens Eye. So I thought I'd do it in a way. Again, one of the things I'd learnt from. Amplified Leicester, was to take a few more risks in doing it in a different way. So what I did was, rather than have any kind of presentation, I just put words in envelopes and handed them around to the audience. So I'd have to improvise on the subject that they, they came out with. And it was really interesting, actually, because the first envelope that was opened was actually the one for Citizen's Eye. The second one was for Amplified Leicester. And about fourth in was the one on transliteracy. And they were really interested in the combination of them all because all three of those came together. In professional terms, I think transliteracy is a really important thing for libraries to get involved with because, there's, like Sue said, there's many new, new literacies that people are using and many different kinds, and you can use different ones to engage with different communities, different people. And I think... Certainly as a library service, we're limiting what we can do if we only stick to the written word. So I think if we use things like YouTube, uh, podcasts and things like that, it will only uh, benefit the messages we're trying to get out and improve everybody's literacies. And I think we can also help people share different kind of literacies. So those who are very literate <coughs> and using YouTube, for instance, can help those people who are very literate but very anti-using that kind of uh, that medium. The other thing I've been particularly interested in is trying to get the use of social media a bit more accepted by public authorities because I think they're actually missing a beat, I really do, if, in certainly informing, engaging and consulting with people if they don't use these methods. So. What I'm trying to do now is trying to prove through the library service, the work it's done with Citizens Eye and Amplified Leicester, 
that it is a really positive way of engaging people yeah. and moving forward. Thank you. Thanks very much. Now it's over to you to ask questions of the panel. Um, we've got our roving mics here. Does anybody have a question? I'd like to. Oh, here we are down at the front, BJ. And then. Wait. Hi, my name's uh, BJ Wright. Just wanted to ask, we've heard some very positive sort of results and stuff. Is there any, uh, perhaps, uh, I don't want to say negative, but any things that um, perhaps you would have changed in the project or, or uh, looking back on it in hindsight? I don't think there's anything really negative from my point of view. Uh, certainly, some things we might have considered doing in a slightly different order or in slightly different ways. And personally, because I wasn't very good at actually doing the practical applications, I should I should have engaged more with the people who were there to help with me. It, it was actually me rather than the people there. So I think it was my attitude that really needed changing rather than what was, what was available. But uh, from my point of view, the ending has been really good. I was saying on, on the way out before the tea break, that it's almost got better as it's got towards the end. And I think there's definitely uh, an inclination to carry it forward and wanting to pass those kind of skills and what we've learnt on to other people. Anybody else? 